I'm Crystal, and I live with my husband Alex and our cat Riley. Despite living with lupus, I try to enjoy life to its fullest. So come share in life's big and little moments with me. In my shoes. Hey guys, so it's Wednesday and today is Wicked Day. I'm going to see Wicked with my mom and I just wanted to quickly show you what I'm wearing. Um, let me see if I can get the lights on here. I've got like this little pink top and I don't have a full like mirror, but I've got black dressy pants on and I am wearing this watch that my father gave me many years ago. It actually has my name on it. Um, and then I am wearing my Tiffany bracelet that my mother-in-law gave me. And I'm also wearing this cross necklace that she gave me at my wedding. And I have, um, I don't know if you can see, I have like these little pink diamond kind of studs on my ears. And I've put a little bit of glittery lip gloss. So I am ready to go. I'm going to head out. So let's go. Hey guys, so I'm back from the show and oh my gosh, it was so good. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, okay, it was like literally one of those very surreal moments for me. Like, um, similar to when I saw Rent live. Well, I've seen Rent live several times. And it's funny, like I saw Rent for the very first time when I was in high school. We went as a high school for the musical theater program. We went to see it and <laughs> Riley's climbing on my lap. Um, <laughs> and um, we went to see it and that was the first time I saw Rent and I really liked it. Um, and then I kind of, I don't know, I just kind of forgot about it for a few years. And then... Um, Years later, came across the soundtrack, listened to it, and remembered how much I loved it, um, how much I loved the uh, show. And um, so then I found out that they were coming out with the movie version and was so excited. And I think I saw it like twice in the theater 
and then I bought it as soon as it came out on DVD and watched it like a million times. And then it came to, I'm trying to think if it was here first. I think it, whoops, Riley. Um, it, yeah, it came back to Toronto. And so my mom and I went to see it. Um, but then I got word that they were doing a tour with, um, some of the original cast, the original Roger and the original, uh, wow, I'm blanking. <laughs> Mark, the original Roger and the original Mark, um, who also were in the movie, they were reprising their roles and they were going on tour and the closest that they came um, cause I don't think they actually, that cast actually came to Toronto. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, they went to Buffalo. And so Alex was a trooper. He took me all the way to Buffalo. We drove all the way to Buffalo just to see rent, um, with the two original casts. And it was amazing. And I think for me that, that like, even though I had seen it live before on stage, that performance, just knowing that this was the original two who had actually been in contact with um, Jonathan Larson, who wrote Rent um, before he passed away, was just amazing to me. Like, they were from the very beginning. And to me, they, like, they are the best for that, for those roles. So I remember when we went to see that in Buffalo and the, the, the show started... Um, I actually started crying because I was just, I could not believe we were there. I could not believe I was seeing, you know, the show again and seeing it with the original, original two. And I was just so, it, it was surreal. And so I was, I got teary eyed, but, um, and it was sort of the same with Wicked. Like I have been wanting to see Wicked for a very long time. And for some odd reason, I just would never, catch wind of when it was coming back to Toronto until it was like sold out and then I couldn't get tickets to it or like I just found out oh it just ended last week and I missed out on it kind of thing and so um this time when I heard it was coming back to Toronto and I actually heard about it before the tickets even went on sale I was like I have to go I have to go and so my mom, she wanted to thank me for taking her on the trip last summer. And so she bought us tickets to go see it. And um, so now I'm a huge Glee fan. Be very, very big Glee fan. I've watched them since day one. And yes, I know like the later seasons haven't been as good as the first few seasons, but I'm still a diehard fan and I will be watching until the show goes off the air this next year. Um, but um, they have sung some songs from Wicked on the show and I fell in love with, you know, these songs from Wicked. And um for me, like, I'm very, like, emotionally tied in with the characters on Glee. Like, I, I don't know why I get very emotionally involved in shows like that, where, especially with Glee, because it reminds me of my time in music theater in high school. And it reminds me a lot of, of about the connections that I had during that time and the friends that I had. And um, so for me, like, it's, it's almost like, remembering that time in my life when I watch it and so I almost feel like I'm friends with the Glee members like the, the cast members on Glee because they're very familiar to me they're they remind me of certain people in my life like in high school and so like when Kurt and Rachel I, I think um you know when they sang Defying Gravity that was like amazing um and when they sang um For Good well First off, I had heard the song for good prior to them performing it on Glee because there was a lady in um, a lupus forum that I was in and she was very inspirational to many of us in, in that lupus forum and she passed away and um, I think she passed away maybe about a year or two before they sang the song on Glee. 
and someone had made this beautiful tribute slideshow to her with pictures of her and pictures of butterflies and they put it to the song for good so immediately the lyrics of the song moved me and it I was crying with the video and so when Kurt and Rachel sang it on Glee it just moved me that much more. I was bawling hysterically when I watched that scene with Rachel and Kurt singing it on the actual Broadway stage in New York City. It was like their dream come true and then it was also a bittersweet moment for them because they were going to be graduating from high school and they didn't know if they were going to be going their separate ways or whatever. And I remember feeling that with a lot of people like in music theater too when I was in high school. And so it was just like, it, I bawled hysterically when they sang that song. And so when the show started yesterday, it was kind of that same feeling, that same surreal feeling. And I immediately, even though like the opening number was not really an emotional number, I was like, tearing up. I was like, I cannot believe that I'm finally here. I'm finally seeing Wicked. Another thing off the bucket list. Like it was just, it was amazing. And um, I just was blown away with the stage setting, the costumes, the singing, the dancing, everything was phenomenal. And um, of course, the two leading ladies that play Glinda and Oh gosh, why I can't remember the witch's name, the wicked witch's name. Is it Alfalba? I think it's Alfalba. Um, those two were amazing. Um, I had my hesitations because I've come to know the two original ladies um, that sing. Um, I've heard their versions of the song, like from the very original Broadway cast, which is Adina Menzel, who I absolutely love, and Christian, her last name I can never remember, but I was like, I hope that, you know, these, these ones will sing it just as well, and they did, they were amazing, and in fact, the one that played Glinda, she actually sounded a lot like, um, the, the original one, um, and she was hilarious. Her character had me laughing so much. My mom too. Like we were killing ourselves laughing at her character and just like the ditziness of her character. Um, the, the little quirky things she would do when like she would all of a sudden kick up her foot or just like do these like quirky little things and um, like the songs that she sang and stuff like some of them were like really funny and just, just the way that she acted, it was so good, and she was an amazing singer, and so was Alfalba, like, amazing singers, I, I, it just blew me away, um, and, like, every number to me, like, whether it was a funny number, or, like, a serious number, I got teary-eyed in pretty much every song, because I was just so excited to be there, and, like, and, you know, like, when Glinda was like acting so silly and everything and we were laughing so hard, like I was laughing so hard. I was crying. Like I had to keep wiping my eyes for like the whole show. Like it was just unbelievable. And so of course the whole time I'm waiting for them to sing for good. And I hadn't looked at the program, so I, I didn't really know when to expect it in the show. And so immediately when I heard the first note and the first line, I was like, here it is. And I bawled, I bawled like a baby through the whole thing because I couldn't believe I was finally singing it live. And I was like reliving that moment with Kurt and Rachel, like singing it on Glee. And I was just like, <laughs> I was like, I just lost it. But it was like, oh, it was just so amazing. And they sang it so beautifully. And it's just such a beautiful song. I love the lyrics in it. And it was just I can't, I don't know. I was blown away by the whole show. I am a huge fan of musicals, like, to begin with. I have so many favorite musicals um, that it's even hard for me to put them in order from, like, my number one straight down. But honestly, I have to say, I think that Wicked has shot to number one for me. Um, I think Rent has pretty much always been my number one. Um, but I think 
uh, Wicked has now taken the number one spot. I just couldn't believe it. It was just such an amazing story, too, because I've always loved The Wizard of Oz. And this put a completely different spin on The Wizard of Oz. It makes you see The Wizard of Oz in a whole new way. Like, it was like, wow. So, like, while I was watching The Wizard of Oz, all this other stuff was going on behind the scene between the witches that we didn't know about. And it's just crazy. Like, I don't want to give it away, but I highly recommend if you haven't seen Wicked, go and see it. I know that there is talks of a movie. I do believe eventually they are planning to make a movie of it, which I hope they do because I want to be able to watch it a million times over. And like, honestly, like I could have sat there and watched the whole thing again from beginning to end, all like two and a half, two and what was it? Two and a half hours. Just, it was amazing. I, I want to see it again, but the tickets are so expensive. Um, but a friend of mine showed me like a wag jag thing where you can get cheap ones. And I'm so tempted to go back, but, but like before it leaves, cause I think it's here till November, but I just, I loved it. Both my mom and I loved it. We thought it was phenomenal. Um, and it was actually really busy for a matinee, um, during a weekday afternoon. Um, when we showed up there, there was a lineup to get in and it was mostly all kids. And we were like, what is going on? And lo and behold, we we're like, oh my God, we didn't think about this, that schools, <laughs> like school groups would go. So there was a whole bunch of different schools from like elementary school kids to like high school kids that, that reminded me of when I was in music theater and we went to see Rent because we went for, I'm like, they have to be a musical theater program. Um, and it just reminded me of that. It was, it was nice, but it was insane trying to get into the theater, get upstairs to where our seats were. And also like to get into the washroom before the show started, like we literally just made it to our seats and the show started maybe not even five minutes after we sat down. It was crazy. Like we just made it. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was like an ocean of people everywhere. And I did take some video during intermission to show you guys what the amounts of people looked like in this theater. It was crazy. <laughs> it was just crazy. And like, it was insane trying to get in and out of the washroom, but, um, it was so much fun. We had a wonderful time and yeah, I just, go see Wicked if you haven't. Honestly, it is the best. It is just the best. <laughs> That's all I can say. Um, but yeah, it was just so funny to see how many people were there. And I was like, wow, this is like, I've never seen, like you couldn't move. <laughs> it was just crazy. But thankfully when the show ended, my mom and I made a beeline to the bathroom and we got there before anyone else. And as we were coming out, that's when the lineup had already started to form. So we're like, yeah, we just made it. <laughs> because, yeah, like the men's washroom never has a lineup. Never. Never. <laughs> we were talking about that with some ladies in line. We're like, the men's washroom never has a lineup. It's like, ugh. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it was just, it was a great day. And then, so, um, like during intermission, we got something to drink and, um, but by the time we like figured out, cause we thought there was like a huge, because there were so many people, we thought there was a huge lineup to get drinks. And we were like, there's no way we're going to get through that line. But then we realized that was the line for the bathroom and there wasn't really much of a line at the drinks. So we ran and got ourselves drinks. And um, then just as we got the drinks, they're like four minutes until intermission's over. So we're like, oh crap. So thankfully they let us bring our drinks like into the theater. But um, so then after the show, we couldn't exit through the front. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't let us exit through the front. We had to go through the back. So then we had to make our way around back to Young Street. And then we walked on there and we found, um, we went to Swiss Chalet for dinner 
and um, like we had like a coupon where you could get like two meals for like fifteen dollars or something like that. It was pretty cool, pretty good. And so yeah, so we ate dinner. And then we just walked around a little bit in the area. We went into the Eaton Center, um, which is like this huge shopping mall. And it's so weird. I haven't been in that area for years. And I hadn't realized how many years it's been. But it's definitely, I haven't been down there since I Alex and I moved in here. And we've been here, I believe, six years now or six and a half years so it's been more than six and a half years since I've been to the downtown area where the Eaton Center is. And so I was like, I don't recognize anything around here. Like they've changed everything. Um, the area around the mall has totally changed and the mall itself has been like completely reconstructed. We went down into like, um, before the show started, we went down to the food court to get like a little snack before we went to the um, show. And I was like, wow, I don't ever remember the cafe, like the food court looking like this. It was just weird. It was like, wow, things have really changed. But so it was kind of neat. We just kind of walked around seeing what was going on down there because like there was like big condos up there now that had never been there before. And they were building like this, I think, add on to Ryerson University. And we were just like, whoa like this we were just blown away with how much it's changed so we just walked around the Eaton Center a little bit we looked in a couple of stores and so I didn't get home until like 8 p.m <laughs> so we were gone like all day and then we get ho I get home and Alex's mom calls and is like oh it turns out that we can't get together on Saturday for your sister's birthday. So can you come now so we can give her her gift because she's going away like next week. And we're like, oh my God. So then we had to go all the way to his mom's and we didn't get home until 1030. So I was just like, oh, I'm like so exhausted. <laughs> oh man, oh man. So yeah, so that was my day. It was awesome. I loved everything about Wicked. And I have to show you guys, very exciting. I had to get a souvenir. Yeah, so here is the program that they handed out. Here are the tickets. I'm gonna be saving these. And I caved and I bought the soundtrack. And it's so funny, I have not bought a CD in years because I either use iTunes or I just download illegally, I guess you could say. <laughs> but yeah, I usually just download CDs. Um, I generally don't actually buy physical CDs anymore because like, look at how much space they take up, guys. Like, these are all my CDs here, right there. These are DVDs. <laughs> and then, over here is like CDs. So it's like, oh my God, like <laughs> I can't fit anymore. And same with DVDs. Like we generally download movies now because it's like they just take up so much space. But I just saw it as a nice souvenir because it was such an amazing experience. I bought the soundtrack at um, a ridiculously jacked up price, of course, <laughs> but it's okay. And it is the original cast so it has Adina Menzel and Christian Chenoweth. There, there, that's their last name, Chenoweth. Um, and so, yeah, I am going to listen to that for sure and drive Alex crazy with it. Because <laughs> I love it so much. Um, but, yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, yeah, if you're wondering what this is, this is a preemie uh, sleeper that I ordered um, or that I bought from someone on Dolphin because I'm going to also be making my nephew a baby and it'll be a preemie size. So I thought this would be cute for his baby. But yeah, anyways, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for joining me today. And I can't stress enough. Go see Wicked if you haven't. Honestly, it is the best, best, best. Love it. All right. Bye, guys. This is what I got. So um, I picked out these. I love Pringles and I saw that it was Pringles Ranch, which sounded interesting. I hope it's as good as it sounds. 
I also found these. How cute are these? They are Paul Frank Band-Aids. So of course I couldn't resist it. And of course I could not resist Paul Frank mints. Um, they're banana mints um, that I probably will never eat, but I just like the container. <laughs> um, 